Uh, so I did not grow up in a Christian household. I was not exposed really much to church at all growing up. Other than when I went to visit my grandparents, I would go to church on Sundays with them, which was Catholic church. <laughs> and I absolutely did not enjoy it whatsoever. It wasn't something that uh, was exciting to me. And it was just kind of a thing I had to do uh, if I wanted to visit my grandparents. That was part of visiting them. I also would attend church occasionally with friends of mine whose parents, you know, forced them to go to church on the weekends. And if I had a sleepover with them, then I was going to church too. I always kind of knew that I did believe in God just with the little exposure that I did have, but I definitely did not have a strong faith and I did not understand really um, the depth of um, my faith, I guess. So as a child growing up, I moved around a lot and I went to a lot of different schools in a lot of different towns and a lot of different states. And it was really hard to, you know, develop friendships and again, to join a church or to grow in my faith because I didn't really feel at home anywhere. As I got older, my parents moved away and I was kind of on my own right after high school, right after graduation. And I went to college and I did make friends in college, you know, and I was living a life of sin. You know, I partied, I drank, I stayed out late. I, you know, kind of forgot about my belief in God. And because I didn't have that strong foundation growing up and it wasn't a priority to me growing up, it wasn't a priority as I got older either. There were definitely seeds that were planted here and there where I never completely forgot about believing in God, but I definitely didn't have those deep, deep roots where it was going to be a priority or a major part of my life. When I really sat by myself alone and had different thoughts, I definitely realized something was missing. I knew in my heart that something was missing and all those seeds that had been planted, they were on my mind here and there, but I just always shoved them down, ignored them, let them go. I'll focus on that later when I get right. I need to get myself right first and then I'll find church. I ended up getting into a long-term relationship and Again, I also had made some friends of mine that were actually members at New Day about 10 years ago, I want to say. They did invite me to come to New Day throughout all of these years of friendship back when they were at the Basketball Hall of Fame and I think various other locations. And I remember thinking, a church at the Basketball Hall of Fame? Uh, and I never came. You know, and then there was one birthday where a really close friend of mine, she bought me a Bible and I started reading it. And I really started, you know, thinking in my head, like, this is what's been missing. You know, I always felt like either I didn't belong in my schools or I didn't belong in my groups of friends or I didn't, there was always something that was missing in my life. And I never understood what it was. So I started reading the Bible and I started having some conversations with um, my boyfriend at the time. And he was actually, which I didn't know, a Jehovah Witness prior. <laughs> and he ended up sharing with me that he had actually been divorced, which I also had never known that he had even been married prior. <laughs> and he, because of his divorce, had been basically shunned from the church. So he did not want to have any faith-based conversations. And so as I was starting to really develop my beliefs and my faith and grow in that, it brought me further and further away from him because I became almost embarrassed to share that with him. And it wasn't, I wasn't comfortable having those conversations with him. So <laughs> about five years ago, my dad died extremely unexpectedly. And two months later, that 
boyfriend of mine after five years ended up cheating on me with somebody that I knew. And kind of my life just felt like all at once I was just losing a lot of things. I lost my father. I lost this relationship that I had been in for five years. And I felt broken. I felt really lost. And everywhere I kind of turned, I kept being led to church. I kept being, you know, again, all these seeds just being planted. Come to church with me. Come to church with me. You know, come to this worship night with me. Come to, you know, just come to this concert with me. Come to Hillfest with me. I just, I kept being invited to all these Christian-based um, events. And that was kind of when I really started feeling like, okay, there's a bigger purpose for my life. Like I need to figure what that is and I need to figure it out quickly because I wasn't happy. I was kind of just going through the motions at that point. I was waking up, I was doing what I had to do and going to sleep. I kind of, I just, I just was going every single day, just redundant, not really happy, you know, not really thriving, not just kind of struggling. I bounced around from church to church, <laughs> trying to find a place that felt comfortable to me. And I never really found a place that felt like home to me, that I felt like I belonged until I came to New Day. Separately from me, my mom also felt very lost and very broken. And again, kind of wondering like, why me? You know, why am I going through this? And how am I gonna get through this? And she, found New Day. And she kept inviting me again, just like my other friend. Kept inviting me, kept inviting me, and I kept making excuses why I wasn't gonna go, I wasn't ready. I kept telling myself like, you know, I am still drinking and going out. I am not really hanging out with the best crowd. I, I'm not living my life the way I should. So let me kind of get right first and then I'll go to church. Then I met my now husband. He did grow up in a Christian household, but he fell away from that as well. So kind of together simultaneously, we both came to God together. And after being in a relationship with a non-Christian in the past, when I also did not consider myself a Christian, and I didn't feel comfortable in that relationship, pursuing my relationship with God, it was basically one or the other, right? Because he wasn't a Christian and he didn't want any part of, of any uh, organized religion or faith at all. Um, and I did. So it was always a tug of war. And it was always, I just, I gave God up for him. Whereas my husband now, in my relationship now with him, he would want me to sacrifice him if it meant my relationship with God. And he also was bouncing around from church to church to try to find one that felt like home to him. So once I introduced him to my mom, and we started having these conversations about our faith, she's the one that actually said, you need to come to New Day. You have to come, just come, just try it. So a couple weeks we watched online and then we decided, okay, let's go in person. We can meet my mom there. We'll already know somebody. It'll be very comfortable. Let's just give it a try. And once we started coming to New Day, our lives just completely changed. We joined a small group right away. Um, we've also served at New Day in Kids Church and various other places as well. So my friend had gave me the Bi a Bible. I did start reading it. I didn't really understand everything I was reading. I understood bits and pieces of it, you know. I didn't really understand how I should apply that to my life. Like, how does this apply to my life, though? Coming to New Day and listening to the sermons and how Mike and Andrew break every single thing down. Like, here is a real life analogy of how this applies to you. That is what helped drive me to actually understand what I was reading and to apply it to my life. And that's what's helped change me. I mean, I knew who Jesus was. I knew that he died on the cross for our sins, but I didn't understand what my sins were. And I didn't understand the depth of his love for me. And I didn't understand how I should be living my life because of that. I always thought that it was the opposite, right? Like, I'm going to start doing all these things right. I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop hanging out with all these people. I'm going to stop living in sin. I'm going to, and then I'll find my faith. Then I will find God. And then God will forgive me and God will want me and God will take me. 
But once I started coming to New Day, I realized, no, I'm going to do all of these things because of my faith and because of God and because of what Jesus did. I will do those things and he will forgive me for those things. So I don't need to change who I am. He accepts me and he loves me just the exact way that I am. It really, really, really grew our faith together because we had both kind of gone our separate ways and gone away from that. We attended together and we started growing in our faith and we started living our lives extremely differently. Um, we both got baptized at New Day and were saved and our relationship just continues to grow. All the pieces really kind of just came together. Like, it's interesting because I don't want to say I enjoyed going through everything that I went through, but at the same time, I don't think I would be where I am if I hadn't. Like, I do believe that my father passing away and my relationship ending the way it did, I think it was like my wake up call kind of. Like, I didn't, I didn't really have a direction for my life. And I didn't really know where my life was heading. Like, I, if I look at myself five years ago and I look at myself now, like, I, I'm not even the same person. I don't talk the same, I don't look the same, I don't hang out with the same people. I just, my, my priorities have all changed. Like, I am a completely different person. I don't even know who I used to be. I'm just not that person anymore. Like... <laughs>